boy YouTubers, it is I, 3 Hell Gear. Let's get back to racing in Mario Kart 8, shall we? You know what? I've been neglecting my boy Yoshi, but I think I'll work on him next time. Let me go old school with Isabel real quick. So did you guys hear that there's going to be some more DLC for Mario Kart 8? Yeah, the European Nintendo Twitter page said good things come to those who wait, hashtag Mario Kart 8. And from what I've been hearing at E3, they've announced that we will be getting a third DLC pack. I really should be playing with Link on this one. I'll rock Link next time. Nah. I think I'll rock Link for the Super Bell Cup. Should be rocking Link now, though. Eh. Oh, I'm so finicky. So, question of the video. What do you expect to see when it comes to DLC Part 3 for MK8? You know, a lot of people talk about what characters they want added to the game. The biggest, uh, yeah, come on, there we go. The biggest choices for pe on people's list are Birdo, Bowser Jr., and Diddy Kong. Which, you know, you can't really blame them. I personally would like to see Bowser Jr. come back. I've always felt that Bowser Jr. should have been in place of Metal Mario. Now, that's not to throw shade on Metal Mario. Actually, it's, it's to throw a bit of salt in his cracking metal wounds. Simply because Metal Mario was a poor, it was a, he was a poor character choice. And the bio for him? Gain sentience and decides to come and race? I don't buy that garbage one bit. They should have just said, and hear this one out, folks. You tell me if this makes more sense. Bowser Jr., disguised as Shadow Mario, picks up a metal cap and decides to join the races. Sounds much better than Metal Mario gaining sentience and decides to come and race. Now let me talk about that one for a moment. First and foremost, let's make this very clear. What kind of sentience does Metal Mario need? Okay? Everyone knows that Metal Mario is not living metal. He's not like the T-1000 from the Terminator movies. Alright? It's just Mario putting on the green exclamation point box metal hat. That's all Metal Mario is. Well, three hell gear, what's pink gold peach then? Is is that peach putting on the metal crown? No. To all of my peoples who played New Super Mario Brothers 2 and know about that gold flower, you would know that when Mario gets it, he turns into Gold Mario. Now my guess is, and I'm sure Miyamoto-san would be able to point this one out, if not agree or disagree on it. Princess Peach picks up the gold flower and becomes Pink Gold Peach. Now look at that. That's what I think Pink Gold Peach is. Oh, I peeled out. Haven't done that in a while. Alright, first and foremost, seeing this again just tells me one thing. The course was added by popular demand. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I didn't actually fall off right there. Because remember, this was in the previous game. I wonder how many people actually like the way Rainbow Road si er, Super Nintendo. Ah! 
so glad I have a good lead. Does Rainbow Road, Super Nintendo Rainbow Road look better on the Wii U or the 3DS? Yeah, like that. That was a dumb question, but I still ask it anyway because a lot of people will say that it's the better course here. Others will say it's the better course on the 3DS. Oh, man, come on. That was a cake move. Jeez. Thank you. I didn't get flattened either. This is probably going to be really quick. This was actually one of the few courses I played with that Honey Queen. Ugh. Another. Aw, oh, man. Really? That's how it always happens, too. You're. Mmm. There goes the three stars. Oh, really? I get bow guarded by the babies? How is Isabel lighter than the babies? That's what I get. That is what I get. Wow, and Metal Mario bogards me in the eighth place. Ouch, man. Oh, that is so disgraceful. You know what, let me see some highlights. I gotta see exactly who knocked me off. Man, I can't believe that. See, I bump her out the way, which is what's supposed to happen. Oh, so Waluigi was the cake, huh? Oh, Wendy knocked me off. Okay, next race. That's all I wanted to see. Jeez. Man, come on. Well, my chances of getting a star went out the window. I'll be making this up off camera, which I don't mind, but, mm. I remember the first time I saw this course being played. It was at an anime convention, not in the tournament that I, that I participated in for the semi-finals, but they were race, wow. Who's yeah, you, you stay out of my lane. That's what you can do for me. Stay out of my lane. That's what you get for throwing fire at me. Ugh. Right? And they were racing this in the first... And it was around the time this DLC first dropped. And after the race was over, I was talking to everybody after watching. I was like, man, this was rough for you guys, huh? And they all were they were all nodding in agreement because it was a pretty tough. Oh hey! It was a pretty tough course for them back in the days when this came out. Now when you race on this course, it's like, eh. It's only hard the first time around. It reminds me of that song from the intro of the old. 90s sitcoms step by step. It will get better the second time around. Oh, hey! Yeah, I'm about to burn you baby princesses from here on out. I can't believe I got disgraced out of that. Waluigi being the cake boy, man. Ugh. You know, one of the one of my biggest gripes about characters for Mario Kart. Thank you, Banana, for the defense. Here we go again. Is that we should have characters that really are Mario vs. Mario Universe to the to the layman. Mario vs. Cinder. But Isabel is a real popular Shih Tzu. 
So, I guess it's all right. Plus, she's cute. You know, I just recently saw her amiibo in the stores. So, I have to make a note to try to get one of them. Don't know when. I still have to decide. There's still Splatoon amiibos that are coming out. Speaking of Splatoon, how's everybody enjoyed their Splatfest in North America? It's, um, Early Bird versus Night Owl. It's currently like one something in the morning on the 25th of June, so they're playing right now. I know after this, I'll probably get in a few rounds. Oh, yeah! Sweet. Well, for a run that's getting me no stars, I might as well just enjoy every last bit of this and swing these turns just like I used to. Now, here's the funny part. All the people who get Isabelle's Amiibo, and I think they mentioned She's getting another Amiibo card with a different outfit. Um, does it matter which version of, of Isabelle that you have? Ah, get off my face. I also want to try and see if Isabelle's Amiibo works with the track seat for the Animal Crossing. If you guys have tried Isabelle's Amiibo for the track seat, and you didn't get it with the villager, let me know in the comment section below. I'm really interested to see if it actually works. Ah. Alright, I can afford messing up right there. Nobody in sight. This is how I like it. Just put that afterburn on people. I'll hold on to Mm. You know what? Fine. Be that way. Because I won this race anyway. Hardy har har. Hyrule has nothing on me. First place, but no stars. Kind of sad in a way. Regardless, I had fun. I should try more of the Animal Crossing stuff. Maybe give the villagers a run. But until then, raise your thumbs if you enjoyed this one. Now let me take my goose from the oven because I'm done. Have a good evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching. And I'll see you guys again next time.